welcome back to Matt's Automotive Channel. Today I'm going to be installing these NGK plugs on the GT500. These plugs are one heat range colder than the stock plug that came on the car. The reason I'm doing this is because I put a smaller pulley onto the blower which increased my boost about 4 psi. When you increase boost on a car like this, it's recommended that you go to a colder plug, and I'll explain that in a bit. If you're interested in seeing the work it was done to put the uh, different blower pulley on, uh, please click on the link at the end of this video. Okay, so why run a colder plug with increased boost levels? Well, when you have increased boost levels, you also increase the amount of heat in the motor. And with the increased heat, you're more likely to have a pre-ignition. So that's why it's recommended that you go to a colder plug to keep the plug about the same temperature as it was when uh, it was stock boost. Now it is a little bit confusing. Um, the stock heat range uh, plug that came in this with NGK plugs is about six, and we're going to a seven NGK, which is one heat range colder. Now there is unfortunately no standard with these heat ranges. It depends on the manufacturer. Um, with NGK, the higher the number, the colder the plug. I believe with Motocraft, it's just the opposite of that. So the lower the number, the uh, colder the plug. So you have to look at the, each manufacturer specifically and the heat range numbers, they just, they, they don't match up. So with uh, all that confusion about heat ranges, there is a way to tell if you are running a colder plug, um, not necessarily how much colder, but you can tell how, that one is colder than another by measuring the amount of insulation or that ceramic material on the plug and i'll show you that all right uh, here you can see we got the uh, stock plug that i pulled out of the car this is motocraft i believe this is the original plug and then here's the ngk which is a colder plug and when you look at them side by side uh it doesn't look like there's too much of a difference they're about the same length um the threads are the same so it goes into the uh into the motor the same depth so what's the difference? Well, this one actually does, this NGK has a little bit less insulative material. And the less insulation there is up here, the more that heat is gonna transfer from the combustion chamber outward. So it will run colder than something that has more insulation. So really the only way that you can tell that this is a colder plug is actually by measuring it. So if we measure the diameter of this uh, insulated material here, we're looking at uh, 0 0.429 uh, thousandths of an inch. And if we go over here to the NGK and measure it, you're gonna see that it's roughly 20 thousandths uh, narrower. So this is gonna be a colder plug than this. The other thing to consider is also with higher boost levels is the uh, plug gap. Um, I know when you, really ramp up the boost that uh, they recommend that you go to a smaller gap and I think when you get up to about 15 to 20 psi they're uh, recommending a 0.28 uh, gap whereas the stock one here came with about 0.42 so big difference in gap and the reason being is with more air rushing over this it's easier to blow out the spark so by making it closer you're less likely to, to blow that spark out. All right, well, I'm gonna keep this video very short and uh, I'm gonna spare you the details of actually swapping the plugs out. Uh, that's fairly easy and straightforward. So I think I'll just end the video here. And uh, the next video, I'm gonna be putting some better tires on the car. So hopefully we'll get some zero to 60 runs uh, before changing the tires and then after, and we'll see how much that the new tires improve the performance of the vehicle. All right, till then, see you next time. Bye-bye.